So today we're going to make some chicken noodle soup. To start with that we're going to make a stock. We're going to make that out of some chicken broth, some vegetables, and then we're going to put our chicken in there with it. So to start with what we're going to do is just roughly chop up a few uh, celery stalks and a couple carrots and also some onions. So you don't have to be very particular about this. It's all going to come out anyway in the end. So however you want to do it. I am going to go ahead and cut off that end just because it can be a little nasty. Alright, we'll just... Again, this doesn't have to be pretty. Really just anything will do. So these have been washed. Um, and I'm going to start, normally I would start with one carrot and three uh, stalks of celery. Those celery stalks are sort of small, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and use a couple extra of those. So next up, we're gonna knock out these onions here. All right, and then again, these are also just gonna be rough chopped. I am gonna peel the outside of them because I don't want all that nastiness in there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil the chicken uh, along with this. Uh, these vegetables and the chicken broth um, and then when the chicken is done we're going to strain the broth back out to use as the base for the soup and once we have that we'll start adding the rest of the ingredients but we're just loose chopping all of this for now danger will robinson danger no will robinson we'll start out with two of these onions So we're really just quartering these. So we've got those in there now. Let's clean up our mess. You'll also notice that the recipe calls for more of each of these vegetables than what we've actually used here. And the reason for that is some of these go in just to making the stock. The rest of them go into the soup itself, so what you're actually going to get on your spoon every time you take a bite. So what I have here are bone-in, skin-on chicken breasts. Um, we're going to uh, take these out, we'll take the bones out, we'll take the skin out once we get them cooked up. Uh, at that point it'll be fairly easy for us to just shred it with a fork. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a separate knife for this so that I can use that knife and that cutting board to cut the rest of the vegetables later. Alright, so these are nice big chicken breasts here. So, Alright, you can see bones in them and you can see skin still on them. So into the pot they go, you can just put them in whole. Again, we're going to deal with uh, getting those all nice and shredded up later and I'm not going to show you but I'm going to put another uh, two of them in there to get four big chicken breasts all set up in there and with that I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be back okay now we're going to put a half a stick of butter in here we're also going to put in a couple of teaspoons of celery salt again this doesn't have to be perfect we're not baking so it doesn't need to be perfect also, we're going to put in some poultry seasoning. We're going to put in about a tablespoon of poultry seasoning. Maybe. In fact, we can get out of here. It's a little clumpy. So now that we have that in there, let's also add in our chicken broth. one full box of this. This happens to be 32 ounces. And 
now that we've got that in there, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with water um, until it is covering the chicken, uh, maybe plus uh, you know an inch or two, just to give it a little bit of headroom. So when you see me again, we'll be back over at the stove. So we're over here at the stove. We're going to add a little salt and pepper. You may have also noticed that I maybe didn't get quite a large enough pot. Yeah, so be it. It is what it is. You can go a little easy on the salt for now. The chicken broth already has a lot of salt in it. I use the lower sodium uh, chicken broth just so that I can control the amount of salt in it. But you can go easy now because you can always add a little bit more later. And we also have some celery salt in there, so that's going to contribute to it as well. Um, so you can see that I've also added the other two uh, large chicken breast halves. So everything is in here. Again, the pot's not quite as large as I would have liked it. Heat's on high, good to go. We're going to put the lid on, let it go ahead and uh, get all the way up to temp. Then we'll back it off just so that it doesn't boil over and make an enormous mess. I can't promise I'm not going to do that anyway, but... We'll play it by ear. And while this is going on, we'll go ahead and start to work on the noodles as well. Sorry about the fan noise, but there's not much I can do about it with a camera this close. Now we're going to cook up some frozen egg noodles. The reason I use the frozen egg noodles instead of the uh, dried bag noodles are because these are a lot thicker and hardier, but you can see there's a picture of chicken noodle soup right there on the bag. Um, I'm just going to cook these to the specifications on the back of the package, so nothing special here. Basically just boil them in salted water until they're done. Just give them a quick stir so they don't all stick together. Okay, and with that, we're good to go. Those are gonna take, they say about 20 minutes. We're gonna cook them a little bit less than that. And the reason for that is because they're gonna go into some hot chicken noodle soup anyway, so they'll continue cooking a little bit once we get it in the bowl um, and into the pot with all of that. I've also turned down quite a bit the uh, stock that we've got going here because it started to boil over. You can probably see the mess on the stove. Um, we'll clean that up later. Um, I'm going to leave this lid cracked just a little bit to let some of that steam out as well. Other than that, we're just going to let these two uh, do their thing and we'll be back. The noodles are going to be done first, so we'll be back to grab those, strain them. We'll eventually end up using this pot here to catch the liquid out of the larger pot. I think it's going to be large enough, but we're going to find out here in just a minute. Okay, let's give one of these a taste here and see if we are about where we need to be. This is going to burn my fingers. And my mouth. Alright. So those are just a little underdone, which is exactly where we want them. Because again, they're going to spend some time in some hot soup. So I'm going to go ahead and take these and I'm going to drain them. I'm also going to run some cold water over top of them. And that will help keep them from continuing to cook. Because if you just strain them, and you left them really warm, they're going to continue to cook with some of that carryover heat that they've got from being in this boiling water. So I'm going to turn this off, I'm going to get these drained, I'm going to get some cold water on them, and then I'm going to put these into a, uh, into a bowl. Alright, we're going to give this a little bit of a stir here. Well, that is hot. Alright, we're just going to sort of poke this down, move some stuff around a little bit, nothing, nothing too crazy, but we do want to... Uh, Give everybody an opportunity to breathe here. All right, you can see this is right at simmering. You know, I'd probably do it a little bit hotter if I could, but with the pot uh, being a little bit overfilled, we're just gonna have to leave it at this. And it's fine, I mean, this chicken's gonna get more than done. It'll be falling off the bone when we're done. All right, let's get this guy back up here. Um, so at this point, it's been about 45 minutes and we'll check it again in about a half an hour. We'll do this off and on every you know, 15 minutes to a half an hour uh, until it's been about two hours. And uh, at that point it should be just about done, but we'll go a little bit longer if we have to. 
All right, while we have the chicken boiling, and that's gonna be a while, around two hours or so, let's go ahead and chop up the rest of our vegetables. So we're gonna have a couple more carrots. And keep in mind when you're cutting these up, it's going to be so that you can eat them with a spoon. So whatever size you like, keep that in mind. Now we're going to do the same thing with a couple more stalks of celery. And I need a little bit more onion. Depending on how oniony you like things, you really only need a quarter or a half of what's left. That's it, we have all the vegetables cut up that we need. We'll hold these off to the side until that chicken is done. We'll go check in on that chicken uh, actually and see how it's doing. And I'll be back in a little while. Right, and we're back. So at this point, we've been at it for two, two and a half hours. Everything in here is really soft. And we're going to drain it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to the sink. I'm going to put that smaller pot into the sink underneath everything. Yeah, look at that. Nice and soft. Great. Falling apart. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pour this through a strainer into that other pot so we can capture all this delicious liquid we've made. But it's going to allow us to discard the vegetables that are overly soft at this point and all of this onion. And then we'll take the chicken out and we'll shred it up, remove the skin, remove the bones, shred it all up, put it back into the pot with the rest of the stock that we've already made. We'll add the noodles in and then we'll be just about finished. All right, I'll see you when we get that taken care of. So at this point, we've got a bunch of the chicken shredded, we've got the noodles in here, and we've got those other vegetables that we just chopped up all mixed in. And now we're just gonna give it a, a stir, and we're gonna let this simmer for a little while longer while we let these new vegetables that we added soften up a little bit. So you can see this is a good amount of chicken. And this is what, uh, this is what you like to see. None of this skimpy 99% broth with a handful of other things in here. You could just about eat this thing with a fork. And that's what you want to see. At least that's what I like to see. I want some protein in here. All right, we'll let this simmer for a little bit, then we'll get it into a bowl and let you see what it looks like. Now we're all finished. At this point, we're just gonna let it simmer a little bit longer, but I've actually got two batches now, so I did make a smaller batch along the way for my wife. She likes, and you can probably see them here, she likes these thinner egg noodles. These are the ones that come in the bags, uh, dried. Um, she likes those better. I tend to like these big, fat, almost like, uh, like noodle-shaped dumplings. Uh, that you can buy frozen that we saw earlier as we were dumping those in. But otherwise, it's the exact same soup. Super delicious, both of them, just whatever your preference of noodles are. So with that, I will turn it over to the final picture. You can take a look at uh, what it looks like in a bowl. Otherwise, we're finished. Thanks a lot. Now that we have three consecutive soup slash stew videos, I promise to mix it up in the next one with some quick and dirty meatloaf. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or there was something you didn't like, feel free to put it in the comments. Have a good one.